Bros and Huff and Jankheads. Welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended Scorched Earth, the hot one. Remember with the desert and the sand and all that? Yeah, we're back, baby. The day after yesterday, because I just couldn't resist. I really want to get this big adobe castle finished. So, uh, I also, I didn't give you guys that much time to actually give me uh, all the names that are going to be needed for all these pigs and wolves and the cats, uh... Yeah, all that stuff. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna hold off on naming for today. We're probably not gonna even be using them much today. Kind of just gonna let them chill out. Um, so yeah, I'll keep giving me name suggestions in the last video comments and this one, and we'll put all those to use in the next episode. However, for this episode, I have one goal, and that's to finish the Adobe part at very least of the. Adobe Mansion. It's gonna be so beautiful. I can't wait. However, something I did notice is that they already ate all the meat. I can only assume that's because of our pig army over here. Um, that's kind of just what you get when you make a pig army. You get all your meat eaten. So, I'm gonna take Broski out. Actually, you have a bit of meat on you. But I'm still gonna take you out real quick to just, I mean gather as much goddamn meat as we can it is just yeah they're burning through it immediately all right broski you know what time it is it's time to get some carrion that was a great suggestion whoever suggested carrion for the carno i did also like that one i don't see anything alive over that way hmm. oh god i forgot you were over here oh my god first thing i do is walk right into the goddamn stone elemental all right buddy you just go to sleep all right you just go right to sleep. I don't want you doing nothing. Bro, he's right beneath the house. That sucks. Okay, well, he should just be big sleeping. There might be some more stuff that's alive down there. Okay, he went to sleep. So I'm going to go down that way. First of all, what are we actually... Right, I wanted to get him to 10k health, so we're actually almost there. Nice. Oh, shit. This Anki's level 130. Right outside base, too. Well, we do already have Big Rat, but, uh, I guess I'll leave you alive. Since you're right outside the base, might as well. It's kind of just a free high-level Anki if I ever want to grab him. Cool. Well, we need to actually find some meat that I can eat. And I'm really not seeing much. Damn, I'm, uh, you know what? I'll go in that direction, because I know there's a bunch of shit around the Green Beacon, so... I'll just keep kind of going that way until we find a bunch of dense animal life. Oh, there's a decent amount of animal life down there. You know what? I think that'll do just fine. Seems to all be predators. Damn, really all predators. All right, you know what? I'm going to start with this pego. Don't you dare steal from me. I don't care about the rest of them biting my ass. I just don't want you to steal from me. All right, there we go. Nice, nice. We're going to take a little bit of torpor damage from the thorny dragon, but not enough to worry about. I'm using my heavy attack to make them bleed. Okay, more thorn attacks. These really do not do anywhere near enough damage to be worried about. Yeah, we're doing just fine. How much meat did we get from that? Okay, I mean, not a ton. We're almost at 10k, though, so that's beast. I see a pig up there. Alright, there's probably a decent amount of animal life around here I can kill. Oh, shit, I think I just... Oh, I just realized we actually leave... Oh, we actually leave footprints in the sand as we walk. That's pretty cool. How long do those stay around? I guess that seems to be where they started. Huh. That's a nice little touch. That's fun. That's fun, isn't it, guys? That's, that's fun. I, I like it when games do that. Munch. Nice. Okay, we got a decent amount more meat. Still pretty good. I think we're going to need, honestly, like, hell yeah, 10k. Probably gonna honestly need to fucking fill this guy's inventory if we really want to keep the pigs fed for long. So I'm gonna keep looking for some even denser animal life. See what's over here. Hello, kitty! You'll do alright for a little bit of food. A little bit. Oh, some raptors. Hello, boys. Don't actually have any of you because I don't really need you. You're actually kind of weak compared to the uh, predators that I have. Okay, took them down pretty handily. Yeah, I think... Oh, okay. Hey, bud. Hey, pal. Hey, buddy. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. And that's a baby. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to keep moving generally in that direction. Yeah, because I know there's, like, parasers and stuff around where the green obelisk is. So that should probably give us enough meat, I reckon. We're already getting, like, halfway full on weight, so we probably don't need too much more. 
Ah ha ha, there's some big meat bags. I'm honestly surprised we haven't seen more of you guys yet. Oh, you went down real easy. How about you? How about you, big fella? You want to put up a fight, huh? You want to put up a bit of a fight? Ah, nothing I can't take. You know what? I'll take some prime as well. Wouldn't mind. And that's it. All right, how much meat did we get from that? Ooh, pretty decent amount. A lot of prime. Damn. Wish I had something I could use that on. I really just don't at the moment. It's all right, though. Once we have our next... Oh! Hey, biggin. I was going to say, once we have our next carnivore team, I could use that, but... There's a fucking T-Rex up there. Well, shit. I wonder what level that thing is, because it could be a lot of meat. 25? Ooh, that's right within meat level. That's right within butchering level. I think that's going to do us just mightily. Probably also going to get us to level up again, which I certainly wouldn't mind. Hello, biggin! You don't mind if I break your fucking kneecaps, do ya? Oh yeah, roar at me, roar at me. It's just less damage that you're actually gonna do. Destroyed. Hell yeah. Low level Rex, no match for a high level Carno. Hell yeah. And that's another uh, shitload of prime meat. Well, we're gonna get a lot of spoiled at least, so when I'm collecting cactus sap, um, for Adobe, then I'll also be collecting those narco berries and we can get a shitload more narcs made. Even though we already have actually a ton. That's really not what we're in dire need of, but I guess either way, I'll still still put it to good use. How are we doing on weight? We're getting there actually. I might not even need to go all the way over there. You know what? I think I'm just gonna kill Morelotops, Par uh, Parasaur. Yeah, kill a couple more things and I can start heading back. Oh, a baby kangaroo. I didn't even know. Oh, cool. I didn't realize they could be baby form. Hold on. Where's your mom? Hello, beautiful. Don't mind if I uh, stop in and give you a bit of a boy. There we go. Because I would like to nab the you. Come here. 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 Yeah. Nice. Female. The one. Uh, the one we have is male, right? Well, cool. Got ourselves a little baby kangaroo. Didn't even realize these guys came in uh, wild baby form, but all right. I'll try to walk him back if I can, or her back if I can. Oh my god, this dumbass baby will not get up this fucking cliff. All right, you know what? You chill. You just chill right there. All right, you chill right there. And if you grow up and don't die or get eaten, I'll put a saddle on you and ride you up, give you a husband. All right? Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. All right. So, I actually managed to get this guy basically completely filled with meat on the rest of the way back. So, that should mean we can get back, fill up that feeding trough, and they hopefully at least won't burn through it all immediately. Um, but then, yeah, it's also a decent amount of hide and stuff. Probably already have plenty of that. Oh, hello. You're just right outside the, uh, the gate, huh? Level 10 Morelotops? Yeah, don't mind if I fucking do. You're just a free fucking cheeseburger, really. Hell yeah. Alright, close the gate. Excusez-moi. Uh, sorry, Mr. Picapton. Almost got you a mate, but, uh, well, she couldn't quite make it up the mountain, so I left her behind. But, hey, you know, that's how it goes. Slow, you're slow. You get left behind. Now, meat. Give me the meat. Beautiful. Put the meat in the box. Yes. Um, hmm, I guess I don't really need the prime meat in the box. Stop going up. There we go. Uh, let's just do raw meat. What? No, I need raw, just raw meat. What? <laughs> no prime. How do I specify no prime meat? Fuck, I took a screenshot. Hold on. Raw meat. <laughs> how do I how do I do this? I have no idea. Alright, you know what? I'll just do this. Nope. Fuck. Click, then do this. Manual style. Old fashioned style. Dump all that. Now all I got is prime. Nope. I got some more regular raw. There you go. Okay. Now we got all the raw in there, and I'll just dump all the prime back into you. Cool. There we go. Alright. Let's see how fast is it getting drained now. Wow. Wow. Still fast as shit. I don't know what's eating all that. Let's see. Beppo, you look good. 
Seems like everything's chilling. Don't look like they're eating. Doesn't look like anything's eating too much. Is it just you guys? Did you see a lot of shit over here? Maybe it is you guys. Hmm. Well, we still got this beautiful blue Deodon with that was well, that pale white skin, then that blue mohawk is fucking rad. Love that shit. It'll pump you in damage. All right. Well, I assume it's just the pigs who are eating most of that stuff, but. That's fine. This amount of meat should still satiate them for a while. Now, it's time to get back to building. How much do I actually have left? We have plenty of fiber, decent amount of thatch, and then nothing else. How much wood do we have in you? Not a ton. Okay, well, I can easily go get more wood in Beepo. So I guess, you know what? I'll just do that real quick because that will be particularly easy. Let me dump the wood it's actually got so far. But then I need more clay, so that means I'm gonna need more cactus sap is probably the next thing I'll get, so I'll go out on Tom, get a bunch of cactus sap. i also keep the narco berries just cuz, just for funsies, so we can roofie the world if we so choose. And then I'll have to just go around and get sand on Walta. Alright. That sounds like a plan to me. All right, Beepo, you're first. All right, that is a big old load of wood on Beepo right there. I'm going to go ahead and hop off him. Oh, I can hear the Draboas are going crazy. I mean, it's already raining. Is that what they're warning me about? I don't know. Maybe more severe weather is coming. Either way, for now, I guess I'll try to... Uh, let's see, did you guys also... Oh! I knew it! I knew you had another baby. Hello there. Level 99, really? Damn, you actually got a good-ass level. I guess Marvin's high level, but your sibling got a shitty-ass level. Either way, well, there's a new Jerboa that we have, and it's raining. Now, next thing next, I'm gonna get on Tom, and we gotta go find a shitload of cactus somewhere, which I don't actually know where the closest bit of cactus is. There's a decent amount over there. So I guess I'll just go down there. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch down there. Okay, okay, I'll go down there. Oh, Tommy boy, you are nice and full for me, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see. I think the easiest way to do this is to yoink the cactus sap. Yoink. Uh, let's see, I don't want that. Oh, god damn it. The goddamn buttons in the goddamn search bar. Goddamn, always get me. There we go. I'm going to take all that, and then I might also take the thatch, just because that could be useful, and then I'll diggity dump the rest, and then we can keep going. All right, yeah, I think that's the best strat. We already got a decent amount, although I think we're probably going to need like four or five times that amount. We'll see how much old Tommy Boy can actually carry. Oh my god, there's that titanosaur again. Is it the same titanosaur that I keep seeing? I feel like it's a different one. But he's really not that far. He could even come closer. Huh. Could have a big-ass neighbor. Guess I'm fine with that. But, alright, back to collecting. Well, that's all that my feeble body can hold. I guess, um... Hmm, but I still want to save the cactus sap is the problem. I guess I could... Good. Uh, you know what? I don't need this many berries. So I'll go ahead and transfer a decent amount of those back in an attempt to get all the cactus sap. Okay, nice. And then let's see how many more narcs I can carry. Transfer. Nope, cancel. Uh, transfer. Okay, that's about all I can carry. So... Um, on old Tom, let's see, I'm going to keep bumping his movement speed, he's already got good weight, but if I dump that, he's still got a decent amount of weight that he can carry, so I guess I'll just hold on to all this for now, and I'll try to get as much pure cactus sap as I can, and then I think after that we'll pretty much just have to head back. Is even that going to give me berries? Yeah. Okay, we might have to get a different strategy then. Oh, and we got ants. All right, hold on. Turn your ass around. Turn your ass around. Turn your ass around. Stop gathering for a second. We got to kill the bugs. Oh, God. These things can really be menaces to big creatures because they just can't hit them. There we go. 
Think it think we got them all. Oh, nope, never mind. Shit, shit. Okay. Now do we get them all? Good. Okay, now, you, focus. Um Okay, I guess I'll just start by doing this. Dump all that. And he's got some weight still? Okay, that'll be our new strategy. I can probably get a bit more, and then I'll start heading back. Oh, god damn, he's close. Hey, Biggin. Well, I guess I'll stay away from him, though. I don't think he's uh, a threat unless I accidentally hit him, though. I definitely do want to avoid that. So, yeah, I'll, I'll avoid him just to be safe. Oh, there's a yellow beacon down there. I don't mind if I do. You know what? Yeah, let's see what's in this. I don't know how long it's been touched down, so it might be kind of on the edge. Ow! Hold on. More goddamn bugs. All right, back it up. Back it up. Come on. Kill the bugs. Do we got it? Nope, there's more. Come on. Okay. One more. Okay, now. Berry. Nope, there's two R's in berry. Dump. Thank you. Now, go. God damn it, there's more. All right, I don't care. Just give me the fucking beacon. I want to get it before it. Oh, shit, I forgot. My inventory is full. All right, put that in there. Give me it, give me it, give me it. Oh, what the hell? Is that just a bunch of stone? Oh, it's just a bunch of stone stuff. Reinforced behemoth? Oh, it's a behemoth gateway. Oh. Well, shit. Okay, that's something, I guess. But it's made out of stone. It doesn't fit the aesthetic of our, uh, of our castle. So I don't know what exactly I'll do with it. What do we get? Stone gateway, reinforced gate, we got the cellar, we got ceiling and hatch frame, some quarter ceiling, stone foundations, okay, mostly random shit. Behemoth gateway, though, I mean, that is expensive to make, so I guess that's still a good find. Will you stop it? God damn. Alright, well, I guess I'll dump the stone stuff at home and keep it at least for now. But, yeah, I think we're just about full, so I need to head back. And actually, now that we're over here, I think the easiest way is actually going to be to run down there... And go up that way. So, alright. We're going this way. Alright. Well, we got quite the load of sap. That's for sure. Hopefully that'll be enough to at least finish the walls and ceiling. We'll see. It might not be. But Tommy Boy can come and uh, get more if we need. I did also get a shitload of narco berries. Too much to even hold and carry, actually. So I actually have to dump some of those in there. Alright. Well, I'm going to throw the rest of these up in the mortar and pestle as well with a fresh load of meat so we'll have all the narc we could ever need ever already preloaded which is going to come in handy next episode because i think next episode is when we're going to tame our argentavis so we are going to need it but let's see did i not move this in yet i didn't can i carry all that and still move no all right then fine i will leave you on the fucking porch for all I care. Beautiful. All right, yeah, let me grab the rest of that and put it in there. And then all I need to do now is go out on Walta, get some sand brewing, and then our clay will be made, and I'll hopefully be able to at least finish the main part of the adobe house. Let's see. Holy shit. I'm sorry, what? The whole goddamn feeding trough is already empty. These fucking pigs must have ate it all already. How do you... Oh my god, look at their hunger bars, too. It's already so low. Um, No passive healing, no passive healing. I guess none of them have passive healing, so I feel like that should help them stay um, healthy. But they are just... Wow, their food really goes down fast. Well, shit, I guess... Deodons having a like having a pack of pigs isn't even really that sustainable because they're just gonna burn through all the food. Huh. I don't know what to do with these guys then. Actually, any ideas? I suppose drop them in the comments. I really don't know. You know what? I'm gonna disable mating just to make sure we don't get any more. But I mean, yeah, they're burning through all of our food way too fast. I doubt anything else is even hungry because they probably just ate their share and then are still good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, all right. We'll have to think about what we want to do with the pigs. Maybe we'll have to just put them somewhere else, let them roam free, and, like... I guess maybe we could let them roam free outside the gates so they can be, like, our bodyguards. I could maybe be down for that. And then we just keep the blue one. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Well, yeah, so tell me, tell me your ideas for that because 
I mean, this is clearly unsustainable. I need a place to be able to keep all of our goddamn meat. I mean, we have a lot of predators to feed, and they'd be easy to feed if we didn't have the pigs. So, yeah, we'll think about it. All right, got a shitload of sand. We're going to load up with cactus sap. It's a two-to-one ratio, so we probably only need... Ah, uh, well, probably don't even need that much, but we'll get all this going. How much clay is that? That's a lot of stacks. 600? Okay, and then we got the second one also big loaded. This one's going to need a bit more sap. Hold on, let me come grab it. Yay, grab the rest of this. Cactus sap is quite light. Sand isn't, but clay also is, so it kind of makes up for it. Now we can craft the rest of this as well all right beautiful now we have everything else we need so once this 1200 or so clay is done i can combine it with all the wood and shit i think i might go grab a little bit of extra wood just for safety let's see we have a decent amount in there and then well we probably don't even really need more but i'll at least try to transfer it into the boxes so we can get more easily if we need to but then uh yeah all right that should be all the clay we're gonna need to i think that'll be all we need to actually finish the rest of the at least the main part of the adobe house which is the goal for now whoa i just was looking out from my uh beautiful little balcony well i mean it's kind of just a ledge right now but i was looking out and i realized all that fog is collecting down in the valley where the water is you even see it happening over there too that is pretty cool i like the weather effects in uh, ascended so far but all right i got the doors set up on these things got a couple more of the walls in so we only need let's see one two three four five of the tall walls then all the walls will be done except for that which I still think I'm just going to wait until the ceiling's done to try to fix that. We'll see how that works. But yeah, alright. Five more walls. Let's actually see. I probably have enough. I was out there looking at the fog for a second, so I probably gave it enough time, if I had to guess, to make a shitload of clay. Hell yeah. How much clay is this going to be? Nice. That is, what, like 800? Something like that? Sick. Let's grab this. And then as much of this stuff as we can. Beautiful. Now, how many of the tall walls can we build? Five. Exactly the amount we needed. Hell yeah. All right. Well, that case, I'll keep y'all with me for a second. As we can just build these. Dump all that. Nope, not you. You come with me. We will go up here. Climb the ladder. And then the next step, I think, won't actually be the ceiling, but it's going to be the stairs. Wherever I want to put those. I already checked, and there doesn't seem to be any spiral staircases in this game, which is kind of weird. Kind of a weird exclusion from Ark, since those were pretty nice in uh, OG Ark. Let's see, is that full height? Yeah, there we go. And then right there. Right there. And right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, fully encased, hell yeah. Well, I imagine once we have the ceiling all built that it'll actually start giving us heat protection. Although that's a good question. Do we want to build a staircase? Because then the building won't be completely encased. Maybe I build a staircase in this room and then I build another wall here to make it walled off. Maybe that is what I do. Oh! Hello, baby. Holy shit, you just hatched? Okay. I guess I forgot I left them breeding. Does that mean that this thing would also hatch if I just kind of dropped it on the ground? It did say it was too hot before. Incubating. Wow, it's going quick, too. All right, well, hello. We got a... Our Pago Mastax family is starting, so that's nice. Well, yeah, I guess, you know what? I kind of like the idea of separating this. Maybe I will build the wall here. Um, but I guess I can build the staircase first and then the ceiling first as well kind of see what the heat protection becomes but okay yeah oh hi oh you're following me i see i thought that was the other one well the other one's about to hatch i guess let's see this one seems to look basically exactly like its mom a little tiny miss scarlet hello adorable now this one let's see what this one looks like give it a sec he's a little shy and pop Hello, you also look basically exactly like your mom. Oh no, you got your dad's back hair. Ha, <laughs> same bro. Alright, 
I'm gonna finish up the well let's let's just build I guess let's see it's four levels high so let me actually yeah let's run down and let's build four levels worth of stairs and let's see how the stairs actually work in this game because that is a specific build component that I haven't actually used yet yoink a yoink hell yeah go over here grab you grab this grab this this then just to make sure and then grab all that okay cool now for the stairs let's grab let's see what was it roof ramp and stairs okay so we're gonna grab one two three four of those for now and then i'm also gonna just build as many wood ceiling no i need adobe ceiling and hatch frame all right i'm also just gonna build as many ceilings as i can because i think we might also need those and then we can see yeah how these are actually gonna place put you there let those build do i have a level i can spend i do it right i'm gonna put that in crafting skill because this adobe stuff is taken forever we are also super high level at this point so we can already basically get anything that we need or are all the way to 98 with riot leggings very cool well that's the last one of those let's put all that back and see how these stairs work the they also work as um ceilings apparently which is interesting or roofs which i don't know how i'm going to do the roof but at least for the adobe part here i'm going to make it a flat ceiling because i'm pretty sure i want the next level to be Totally walkable. Totally forgot you were following me. Good thing you didn't fall off the fucking ledge. Hello there. You're almost an adult already. Alright, well we got two little red gremlin children, so that's nice. Okay, let's see. How do these work? So that's the roof tile, which is actually kind of nice looking. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind using that at some point. Maybe I should consider doing the roof in a little bit of a different style. Or maybe we'll just put an adobe roof on top of the wood section anyway, perhaps? We'll see. Now, what is... Okay, that's a ramp. Got it. Okay, that's pretty nice. Only goes up half a wall, though. So then we also have stairs. Okay, normal stair block. And then we also have this. Aha! So you can build a spiral staircase. Somehow. Um, hold on. Put it... Attach it to this. There we go. Okay, so you can build a spiral... Well, it's a tight spiral staircase, but you can. Okay, interesting. In that case, let me pick up this, which picks up both in this version, which is quite nice. It would have destroyed the top one in regular arc, which was always annoying. So how do we want to build this? Let's see. You can always build it kind of like in the corner. Yeah, so I'll put it there. No, not there. We need you to be... No. No. Hold on. Right. No. What? Uh, come on. Attach to the fucking staircase. Hold on. I can almost get it. I saw it attach for a second. Come on. I can hear the Jerboa just purring in the background while I'm losing my mind trying to get this thing to connect. Oh, oh, oh. It's like almost connecting when I get it like right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there it is. Okay, so now this, we just run into this corner, and then we go right up here. All right, well, is that correct? No. That goes the other way, which is an absolutely insane staircase. So I could put you like that, which is the way that we need. And then you go like that. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to need some funky ceilings, which I did kind of forget about. But... We can start by putting in these. Let's see. So that should work. That should work. Let's see. Uh, that should also work. And then I can connect these. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Does this all need to be built with triangle ceilings? It probably does, actually. That's fine. Okay, you know what? Uh, I'm going to step back. Pick up you. Come over here, eh, grab you if I could, eh, thank you, there we go. Okay, yeah, I assume that that has to all be done with the triangle ceiling, kind of like the floor was, which is fine. We can just build some of those, no problem. 
But we can get this part of the ceiling done. I think all of that needs to be done with the triangle stuff. Well, if I put that there, that actually works. Oh, okay, so that works fine. And then do we want this as a question? Oh, actually, maybe we do. Hold on. Doesn't seem like we might actually hit our heads. It's getting a little dark in here. We are going to have to build, like, torch lights and shit in here to start getting it all lit up. But for now, let's see. I can go right up. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Get a little bit too fast and you'll fly off the edge. But that's fine. And I'm up. Oh, and I fell. Right. Because I forgot the top of the staircase is not existent. Yet. Okay. Well, that ceiling is going to work there. So I'll go ahead and just throw that down there. And very cool. All right, it is getting dark. I guess it does get a little bit dark here early because of the uh, wall. So maybe I'll build some wall torches next. Oh, actually, what did I need for wall torches? It was I think I needed some metal. I could go down and grab the wall torches from the old base. But I'd kind of like to build new ones. Let's see. It's under metal, wall torch. Metal ingots. Oh, that's easy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll just build a bunch of wall torches, fill them with spark powder, and we can get those burning as well. But yeah, all right. There you go. That's going to be our staircase. It is a very tight staircase shoved into the corner, but I mean, it does work. I guess I could have maybe expanded it out with some ceilings. I don't know. For now, I think it'll work. But yeah, all right. Next step is to just finish off the ceiling and also grab those uh, torches. Alright, if my math is correct, and it always, always, always is, then this should be the perfect amount. Oh, wait, I already realized I made a mistake. Yep, I totally forgot that we already did one of the layers. Alright, well, I have five extra triangles because my math was wrong. So, uh, oh, right, that area needs triangles, too. Oh, actually, that might have still been the perfect... All right, never mind. My math was perfectly correct, as always. I wonder, could I actually just uh, be a little cheeky guy and maybe do this? Uh-oh, 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 uh oh Okay, no. Those are still unwalkable. Roger that. Okay, well, made a couple extra triangles just for now, but I should be able to use them... Over here, hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. I need more regular ceilings, though, for now. I did, though, also build the wall torches. Here, let's get these bad boys up. Uh, put that away. Give me some spark powder. Put those away for now. I'll just leave those there. Great. Now, I built seven because I want there to be one here and here. And then one here and here. And then let's see, let's see. One also right here. And then we're also going to get one right here and one right here. Okay, the perfect amount. Now I need to divide this up into seven. So we're going to fucking divide it into six. And then maybe for the extra one, there might be some extra somewhere that I could use. No, I actually got it all. Okay. Um, you know what? We'll just leave one empty for the time being because it probably doesn't need it anyway. Okay. How can I actually? Can I? Um, yep. There you go. Put 50 in there, light that bad bitch up. Although, I'm also going to immediately unlight it because we don't need it right now. Now, how hard is it going to be to fuel all of these? Okay, that one made it easy. Come over to you. Yup. Come on, yup. Oh, I put it just out of reach. Are you serious? Yup. Oh, nice. Got that one. Hold on. Yup. Oh, how did I put it just out of reach? Oh, there we go. Got it. What? And then it didn't put the fucking spark powder in? Are you kidding me? Huh. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nice. Now go in here. Yup. 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 There we go. Got that one. One more. Yup. Yup. Skip. Alley-oop. This is the one. Nice. There we go. Okay. 
Cool. Well, I guess, you know what? These, I will actually light up because the ceiling's here. There we go. And now we can actually see within our Adobe realm. All right, they're really not that that necessary yet. But once it's nighttime, I'll put these up so I can keep building. I'll light them back up so I can keep building. All right, but for now, it's time to go back to building ceilings. And I think actually I am out of clay. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I ran out of clay building those triangle things, which actually means I need quite a lot more clay than I originally expected. But yeah, we're out there. We still got a decent amount of wood and shit, and then there's still a decent amount of cactus sap in here. So what I need to do is get more sand, and I'm also probably going to have to get a decent amount more cactus sap as well. Is there any, isn't any more in there, nor in old Tommy boy. So yeah, I think we are going to actually need a decent amount more clay, but that's fine. We'll start by getting some sand. Uh-oh, big stoney's back. I was just trying to get a little bit of stone over here. You know what? I kind of want to see... Could, could the Dodicarus potentially deal heavy damage to this thing? Is that crazy? Hold on, buddy. Drop your inventory for a sec. Come on, Dodicarus. We're getting in there. 11? All you can deal is 11? Bro, you can destroy stones like they're nothing. All you deal to this guy is 11 damage? All right, we're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Roll away. I had to sacrifice some sand, but that's okay. The Dodicarus is definitely number one priority. Stupid ass, rock ass, idiot ass. Hate that guy. Oh, he's coming down. Oh, you want to come over here? Listen, I don't care. If you want to come away from my home, I certainly wouldn't mind. No, nope, he's chilling. All right, cool. Well, I guess I'm just out here to get more stone then. Oh, fellow Dodicarus. And you're garbage. Okay, well, gonna keep gathering sand. Sand, that's what I need. Sand. All right, that should be the rest of our cactus sap used up at least, or, well, most of it. But with this amount of clay that I now have yet again, let's see how much can I actually get from this? How many ceilings to be specific? That's really all that matters at this point. Scroll down, uh, ceiling, 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 ceilings, right there. 13. Uh, all right, my guess is we're probably gonna be a, sh a bit short on clay to actually finish the ceiling. That's all right, we won't be too far. Oh man, it's almost coming together. I got this part of the ceiling also complete, all nice and finished, and all that's left is this square section here, which, let's see, is uh, four by four. Okay, so if I can get 16 more ceilings, then this thing is done. Let's see how much clay I actually have left. Also, I haven't actually lit it up yet. I was hoping to see if I can finish the ceiling first, which, if I need 16 more ceilings, yeah, I don't think I have quite enough. Let's see how our clay's doing. Okay, that's still going. Oh, that's actually done for. Okay, so that's the last of our cactus sap. Throw that in there with the last of our sand. Make an extra 200 or so. Okay, yeah, we don't have nearly the amount to finish the ceiling, unfortunately. Let's see how much I can make from just this. Crafting, adobe ceiling, uh, why can I never find it? There it is. Six. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need a full another load. Well, at least we still have plenty of thatch wood fiber, so I just need... More cactus sap is the main thing, and then more sand is pretty easy. So, all right. I'll have to take Tom back out, get some more cactus sap, and then I'll finish off this goddamn ceiling. And we'll see. That might take us to morning, but if not, then we get to see. Well, I guess even if we finish the whole ceiling, or once we finish the whole ceiling, then even if it's daytime, it'll still be dark in there. So we can still see it all nice and lit up. But all right. I'm going to go place these ceilings, then we're taking Tom out on another venture. Oh, I also got to make... Gotta make the two walls to fill that hole, but I will guess I'll do that after. Alright, let's see if these walls will- oh, I think- I think we got a fitter. Yep. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Alright, hell yeah. Let me also- I just made a little campfire for myself because I am starving. There we go. Get that shit going. But I also have four more ceilings to place, and then that's the rest of the clay that we actually have. So, once my food's done, I'll take Dom out. And we only need six more ceilings. Oh, man. 
We got so close. I won't take Tom out for all that long. I'm just, just gonna go get enough cactus sap that all oh, just the amount we need. And you know what else, actually? I'm gonna fucking, uh, yeet. Kill myself real quick just to get a quick reset, and I'll just take Tom out right away. Wow, okay. Uh, I fully reset and put my clothes back on and everything, and I'm actually cold. Well, shit. I wasn't expecting that. We actually left all the fur stuff back down at the other house, so I don't even have that to change into. Although we do have... Let's see. What do we have? Right, we have our old armor. Let me just real quick grab this. And then didn't we have really good boots? Where's our boot? Oh, there's the boots. Dummy. There we go. Okay, I think that's all the good stuff that we had. If I wear this, will I be protected from the cold? Also, no. Damn. Okay, you know what, then? I'm gonna hop on Tom and actually... Oh, something's attacking the Deodon, it looks like. Or a couple somethings. Yeesh. Okay, hold on. Let's hop on Tom, run over that way, and we're actually gonna go in the direction of Old Base. We're actually gonna go all the way to Old Base so that I can grab that first stuff that we have over there. I didn't realize that uh, I was gonna have to worry about being too cold. Oh, there goes the Deodon. Well, that's fine. We definitely don't need more pigs, especially a level 18 one. Nope, make it through, make it through. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. All right, let's go take revenge at least. Don't want these terror birds to just be running around. There's a bunch of them. There's also some cactus over here. Hell yeah. Come here, terror birds. Where are you? There you are. Don't worry, Dodicarus. I'll help you. Oh, there's also a uh, saber tooth over here. All right. Thankfully, Tom does some pretty wicked damage. So we'll be just fine. Okay, not that much damage to the Terra Birds for some reason. They got hollow goddamn bones. For fuck's sake, man. There we go. Okay. Not too bad. Alright, I'm gonna take my torch out. If I if I can. Can I take my torch out, please? Why am I not taking my torch out? What the hell? I wanna let me take my torch out. I have no idea. Okay, weird. Well, in that case, I'm just gonna run on down to the old base, grab our first stuff, and uh, get some cactus on the way. Oh, I see. So apparently my torch is actually out, but it's just not actually making, like, any light. Well, okay, that's basically useless. Well, it's already becoming morning, so it seems like it might be warming up a bit anyway. Oh, that was just actually from my torch. Right, well, I guess it still provides that little function. Well, hold on. If I get in my, uh wooden box here then am i yeah okay we're still nice and warm here even with the darkness there we go <sighs> go stay in our winter home for a little while ah nice to be back okay well yeah while we're here let me grab let's see the best boots which are these and the best gauntlets which are those cool all right well we're actually warm now that we're in the wood house I guess that could be a good function of putting the wood part on top of the adobe part so we can be in the adobe part of the house to be cool and then the wood part to stay warm, perhaps, perhaps, although with this uh, fur stuff hopefully we won't even have to worry about that. Alright, probably nothing else that I really need here so I'm going to go ahead and put these out, hold on, put these out, go out this way, and am I still cold out here? Just a little, alright, you know what, we're just going to put the boots and gloves on. Nice, those are cool. And now we are absolutely fine. Cool, all right, it's daytime, so that means there's nothing stopping me from just getting some cactus. I really haven't found much down here, so I think I'm gonna have to go that way and find some cactus in this direction. But yeah, I'll get some, head on back to base, and we can build the rest of this house. Oh, dude, thanks, thanks, Mr. Beacon. That, that's super awesome. Thanks for giving me a fucking scuba tank in the middle of the goddamn desert, you fucking joke i got a level a mastercraft fur boots that's half as good as my ascendant ones dude awesome what a great great beacon i super love that bro epic dude all right well i will say uh without taking those narco bears i am able to get a lot more cactus sap so that is gonna be more than enough thank you very much wait we also got Cactus broth? Magical soup will greatly reduce your water consumption. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can slurp that if we're ever in the desert. But for now, I'm going to run back to base, which we are at a pretty unfortunate angle. But, you know what, I'm just going to go this way. And, uh, yeah, that's 
plenty of cactus sap, so that's going to be more than enough that, that we need to uh, make probably all the adobe, even like the adornments and stuff that I want to make, which might not be in this episode, but as long as we have the uh, cactus sap already, and here, now I can uh, just yoink that, dump the rest, and uh, I guess I'll just put that back in for now. There we go. All right, let's make it back home. Alrighty, I have good news. In my inventory, I hold the very last pieces of the adobe section of our beautiful castle on the hill. Yes! Yes! Our ceiling is complete! Fantastic. I have... I don't know exactly how I want to style the top part, but I think I might build it like either just on here you know you can divide it into four sections so there's the front bit then there's the staircase room then there's the work room and then there's the center room so on top of the center room and the work room i could potentially build the wood part and then maybe leave the top of these two open well i guess no we want this to also be in the wood part so we'll build the wood part on these three and then maybe leave this one open as a bit of a adobe balcony but that'll be later, because for now, now that we have our actual house built, there's nothing stopping me from uh, bolstering our arsenal and being able to tame, well, the next big thing that we really need to tame, which is the Argentavis. And I was thinking, considering we have this really good-ass bow, I figured there was a chance we could down one with just the bow, and we might not even need the dart gun. But yeah, this is the house fully completed. From the inside, it like you can see some sun peeking in. Right here. We won't be able to see it at nighttime during this episode, but we can at least still see it all lit. Come on. Oh, there we go. There's one. Uh, this one's right above the fire, but I can still get it. Come on. There we go. Nice. And then the one in the middle is empty still. That's okay, because we also have all of... Oh, come on. All of, uh, fuck, all of these. Yes! The Adobe Mansion is complete. Oh, and it's beautiful. I am interested. I don't know what the temperature is like today, but if I'm naked or if I have all of this on, I have no weather effects currently happening, which is interesting. Hopefully that, that could potentially be a factor of the Adobe here. You know, I forgot we can't go out that way. Let's go out this way. What's the temperature outside like? Okay, it seems to be pretty neutral right now. Ooh, there's a red beacon over there. Okay, you know what? I was thinking about trying to do this this episode anyway, but let's give it a shot. Since the bow I think could work, I'm going to go ahead and grab this and this to repair it. And then I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to grab this, this. I'm going to grab some extra. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm also going to grab some extra of these just in case. We have our heaviest armor on currently. Yes, fantastic. All right, Castile. We are going to go try. Well, first of all, we're going to go and get that red beacon over there. I'm going to bump your movement speed a little bit. Go get that red beacon. But then, to end off this episode, we're going to try and see if we can just down an Argentavis. It's not going to be easy. But I do think with this high-powered bow, there's a chance... I just need to keep it from running away from me is probably going to be the main problem. I don't know. We'll have to see if we can find one in a good location. I think that's the only flyer on Scorched Earth, unfortunately, other than the moth. So, that's the plan. Maybe if I find a high-level moth, I'd also try to tame it. But I kind of feel like the bow we have would just kill a moth. So, I don't know. First things first, though, we'll get this beacon. All right, I flew this slow-ass bug all the way over to the beacon. Hopefully, we got here fast enough and it's not going to disappear. But also, hopefully, it's in somewhat of a safe location. I've been seeing a lot of predators around. Okay, looks safe enough. Land, hop off, open, grab. Oh, I see some good shit in there. All right, get on, fly away, and we're good. All right, nice and easy. You are a little bit weighed down, unfortunately, after this. What did we get? A fabricated sniper rifle. Ooh, a good one, too. Nice. I don't know. We might have bullets for that. Didn't we get some sniper bullets? Ammo type advanced sniper bullets. I don't know if we have those. Hmm. Well, we also got a good-ass riot chest piece. Holy shit, we got... Oh, we are... Oh, we got some great shit. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. What are the stats of... Obviously, the defense is way better. 
What does chitin give? Cold resist 10, heat resist minus 5. What does this do? Cold resist 22, heat resist... Okay, so it's kind of like chitin, but just amped up a bit. That is beast. Okay, so then what about metal? Okay, metal is pretty similar to chitin, actually. But then this has more. So it's worse for heat, but it is better for cold. And it is really powerful. Hell yeah, dude. We are an absolute knight. The only thing we don't have is uh, some good legs. Well, cool. All right. Probably don't need this riot chest piece, but I guess I'll keep it. Maybe we could, like, salvage the parts from it or something. I don't know. Well, while we're over here, I think the only... Um, I am pretty sure the only other flyers we can tame on Scorched Earth are Argentavises. So... We are a bit weighed down at the moment, though if we leveled up, we probably could improve that. Or you know what, actually? I'm just going to split half this wood and dump that out. That'll help. Also, I'll get rid of the shittier riot chest piece because I don't think there's any reason we can use that. Okay, that should give us enough weight at least. Now, if I can find a high-level Argentavis in a somewhat tameable area, then I'll try to go for it. Otherwise... I don't think we have any other options, really. I mean, if we got a really fast ground tame, I don't know. Is there anything that's good on the ground that could be faster than a wyvern? Maybe a Procoptodon. But we'd have to get in there and get the egg and then fly out and then run away on the ground thing. So I think we just want a really good Argentavis, one that's really, really fast. Okay, well, I'm going to go check this mountain range over here. See if there are any over here. Although, actually, I think... I'm pretty sure there aren't. I think they're actually only on the other side of the map. So, this beacon might not have been in the right direction. Well, I guess I have the tools to tame anything. Although, if it's not flying, then it's going to be really hard to get back. Let's see if I maybe spot... I'll also check out, see if I can spot a high-level moth. Because that could also maybe work. And there are some moths around here, so I'll keep an eye out. Okay, nothing yet. Huh, yeah, I'm not really seeing any uh, flyers over up here on, what are we, on the uh, west side? Or the east side. Not really seeing anything over here. Maybe if I went even farther, but then that's just going to be out in the desert. So, I think I'm going to make my way back. Maybe I'll try to, let's see, where is the base, actually? Right there, right in right that way it is nice and easy to see from a distance the landmark is uh very notable there's probably some over that way actually there might be some that way all right you know what i'll go that way next okay well i found a level 115 moth that's pretty good i don't think there's actually gonna be any argentavis over here it just does not look like this is the side of the map that they spawn on which is an l sure but, you know what? A pretty decently high-level moth, that could also get the job done. Maybe. So, we're going to give this a shot. I'm going to leave you right up on the top of this rock, buddy. Castile, you stay right there. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to load one up in here. And I'm going to... Oh, whoopsie. I'm going to get another good shot on him. And then, as soon as... I'd like him to land, actually, if I could. That would be preferable. You want to land, buddy? You want to land for me? Come on, you want to land. Give me a land. Give me a little land. Give me an old land dooski. Come on. Give me a lander. Bit of a land. Bit of a land from this guy. Alright, fucking goddamn. I don't know what his deal is, but... Alright, let's just try to maybe scare him into the wall. Kate. Oh, he went right into me. Uh, where'd he go? 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 Over there. Oh my god, he's fast. And I'm lagging. Okay, well, that didn't really go to plan. He wouldn't land, so that kind of sucks. I might be able to chase him down, so I'll, uh, let's chase him at least for a little while. Oh, hi, baby thorny dragon. That, he's stopping, he's stopping, he's stopping. Yes, 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 yes. Hit him. Fuck. Hit him. Yes! Okay, wolf, you're gonna have to get the hell off of me, man. I got a strong ass trank. God damn it, stop hitting me so I can't hit you. There we go. Come on. Oh, what level are you? Are you super high level? You might be super high level. I can't tell if it's 125 or level 25. Come on, go down, bro. I was just trying to get a moth. I wasn't even trying to fuck with you, homie. Breaking my leggings like that? Come on, bro. 
Oh, it's so high level. Why did I have to get stuck with a high level wolf? That is so lame. All right, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna try to run. I guess if I lose it now, it's gonna attack my moth. Oh, is it coming after me or what? Maybe it's actually tranked? Oh, it might be about to be... Oh, wait, okay, okay, it knocked out. Well, that's a level 125 wolf, so I guess that's kind of cool. I already have a shitload of those, so I don't really care, though. Let's just go see if I can maybe find that moth. I guess. Okay, come here, Castile. Come here. Come here. I think it ran over that way somewhere. If I get Castile, I can at least get a uh, aerial view. What are you doing, bro? Get your ass over here. God damn it, there's a lot of predators around here. Even if I do knock it out, it might be tough to uh, defend. Come here, buddy. Come up. All right. Now, where's that moth? I remember generally what color it was. I also remember that's level, so I can definitely confirm it's the one we want. If we see a moth. Oh, there's one. Is that the other one? Yeah, that's the shitty one. Come on, come on, where's a moth, where's a moth? I don't see it, shit, it might have completely left town. Man, there's a Rex around here too? That's a tough tame, I guess, oh, you know what I should have done? Moths are bowlable, huh? Damn, I didn't think about that. Well, shit, in that case, I'm probably not even really very well equipped to tame a moth. <laughs> well, shit. I could try to tame something bigger. There's a Thylacolio down there. Level 55. With a 55 Rex. One of those is going to die. I guess I assume the Rex will survive. Well, hmm. I guess at this point I don't really know what to do. I could try to fly back and make some bolas. I unfortunately now definitely don't have what I need considering I need hide. Yeah, okay. I guess I'll fly generally back in the direction of home, which is this way, right? Yeah, right? Isn't it over there somewhere? It actually, that doesn't actually look like the right mountain. Oh, there, that must be the right mountain. Uh, yes, there's the dildo, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just go back over that way. There's a moth there, see if that's high level, I guess, just for fun. It's not. Most of them have been in the 20s for some reason. Alright, I'll go back for now. I'll keep an eye out for anything potential to tame, though. What the fuck is that? I was just flying back to home. What is this? Oh, it's like goopy. Oh! Oh, you're still following me. Sorry. What is... Oh, an oil vein. Aha, I guess that makes sense. Well, I guess there is an actual reliable way to get oil pretty close by, so that's something. But Jesus Christ, that is disgusting. I thought it was a titanosaur shit at first. Literally thought it was just a big thing of shit lying on the ground. Well, I haven't really seen any high-level uh, moths or anything on our way back, so... I think we might be out of luck for a tame for today. I don't have a ton of time left. Ugh, that one's also 20. Alright, well, we at least got the house built, so I'm gonna run back. We know which direction to go for an Argentavis now. We also know to remember to bring some bolas if we get a moth, if we want to try to get a moth. I'll probably make some bolas here real quick just before I uh, actually end. But yeah, like I said, I'm about out of time. So that's going to be it for this episode of Ark Survival Evolved. I hope you enjoyed. We finally got our beautiful Adobe Mansion, at least the, uh, the skeleton of it complete i do want to add all kinds of adornments we're going to add the big wooden section on top eventually i'll deck out the inside as we get more stuff to build and all that kind of stuff but you know what a uh, benefit of building these big ass gates as a part of the house is that uh our beautiful little moth baby can come right in with us oh my god it's letting all the wind in wait is a oh a sandstorm just started oh okay damn it literally happened right as we entered but we can close that and be completely chill from the sandstorm. Well, maybe not completely chill. I mean, it's good enough in here. I can still kind of see the sand. That might be a product of having that be open. Um, I could maybe close that just for now. I don't know. It doesn't matter too much here. For now, let's go and put our resources back. Oh, no, not that. that this is just the equipment chamber. 
put that back and then I'll also go over here and real quickly should be able to just repair oh I didn't bring the chitin or the hide up here oh wait no it's in here now yeah it's okay fantastic grab all that throw that in there we'll get our legs repaired and we're gonna leave this one here we have our mansion it's a little bit fucking intense in here with the sandstorm still maybe that's because I have a hole maybe that's just a kind of a glitch of ascended who knows but I'll see you guys in the next one where we are going to commit to getting ourselves an Argentavis so that we can start breeding, or well, we can start hatching and using wyverns. But that'll be next time, gamers. I will see you then. Peace out, jankheads.